On August 15, 1992, we stood right here and exchanged vows. And it was perfect every day after. Absolutely. No conflicts, <laughs> no fights, no problems. Thankfully, you were married to me. The truth is... We had a lot of hard years. Really hard years. Thankfully, though, all our problems are in the past, right? I mean, we don't have conflicts, problems, or issues now that we've matured. That would be nice, but that's not the case. The truth is, we have had some really hard, tough, rough years. Do you think, in fact, we should have been a statistic? Absolutely, but by God's grace, we're here today. As friends. Still married. And having some fun. And over the years, we, uh, we've shared with some people things we've learned, most of it the hard way through making mistakes. And we've seen God use some of that information to really make a major difference in people's lives. Uh, this includes singles who were scared to get married because of their parents' marriage falling apart, uh, those who were basically just living as roommates, hanging on by a thread, uh, those who were in crisis, and those who were doing pretty good but wanted to do better. Uh, this has finally culminated with a book we've written called... Real Marriage. Because there's enough lame marriage books by people who don't talk about any of their sin and just tell you how it should be, which just makes you feel guilty, ashamed, and a failure. Since we wrote the book together, we are hoping that the book is appealing both to men and women, which isn't always the case with a marriage book. For the ladies, which chapters do you think will be the most difficult? The respectful wife chapter, and then I also included the chapter for sexual assault victims. For guys, the porn path is gonna be important. Uh, men in marriage, which is a series of helpful but painful blows. And uh, what was your favorite chapter? I would say the friend with benefits chapter. Yeah, as we studied 187 books on marriage, we couldn't find any that addressed friendship within marriage. That was my favorite chapter and the big takeaway idea for me as well. Which chapter do you think is gonna get us in the most trouble? Probably the can we. Where we answer all the big sexual questions. So there's the real marriage book, uh, we also have for ministry leaders an enormous number of resources totaling some 300 plus pages put together by a team of scholars, PhDs, and professors about sexual statistics and marital issues, how to preach and teach around the content of the Real Marriage book, and of course, God's Word, the Bible. We also have for you small groups curriculum that we shot DVDs for, and we're going on tour over the course of a few years to major cities and the U.S., including international cities. It's a big, big, big campaign. We're giving away a lot of auxiliary information and resources, and why do we do it, babe? We really want to help marriages. And we believe God might use some of these tools to help you.